it started off with uh, a research that we've conducted on coastal infrastructure a couple of years ago. Uh, we noticed that uh, concrete in the marine environment doesn't support uh, healthy and natural uh, marine life. It usually gets covered with uh, nuisance, uh, with species, let's say the weeds, let's say the weedy species of the ocean. And uh, we decided to try to make, uh, con make uh, concrete infrastructure uh, work better, uh, work with the environment. We are basically uh, selling uh, different types of solutions for marine construction, if it's for a seawall, a pier pile, or uh, a breakwater, that have uh, the ability to uh, develop healthy, uh, productive marine life. Uh, this has, uh, from one hand, uh, ecological uh, advantages that are related to uh, the environment, and from the other hand, also structural advantages uh, related to the structure itself. Uh, in the last uh, three years, there is uh, a huge uh, new thinking about the uh, design of, of coastal infrastructure and how uh, we can reduce the, food, the ecological footprint of coastal infrastructure. Uh, so I think we came the right moment into the market. Um, we see a lot of interest basically coming from governments and from public uh, um, bodies which uh, regulate contractors and looking for solutions which that they can uh, enforce contractors or at least uh, um, show contractors that can be that they can use to reduce the footprints of infrastructure. Um, when what we aim to is uh, increasing the biogenic buildup on concrete on any concrete structure, uh, and biogenic buildup is the deposit of calcium carbonate by marine organism. Their skeleton is put on the concrete and basically cover the concrete with a layer of calcium carbonate. This layer acts first of all. As, as it's become a reef, and then it's got giving all the environmental services which uh, a reef, it can be an, an oyster reef, it can be a coral reef, uh, provide. But this cover of calcium carbonate also acts as, uh, as a layer which protects the concrete. First of all, it's protecting it when we have large waves or, uh, or large forces working on the structure. This uh, crust of, of, of calcium carbonate will be the first the, the first one in defense it will be it will absorb the energy maybe later on it will uh, fail off but the concrete can be put in again so in extreme events it's basically protecting the infrastructure well we're working three levels the first level is the composition the actual concrete mix we have uh, our own uh, uh, special mixes that we worked on and developed for the biology this is uh, undergoing patenting at this stage uh, the second level is the texture or the roughness of the concrete, so we don't want it to be smooth, we need it to be very porous and very rugged for the marine life to settle on it. And the third level is actually the design, so like three-dimensional uh, designs that have uh, holes and crevices for the different marine life to grow on. Our vision was to change the way our future coastlines look and function. So we did have a big dream. Yes, we're definitely in the right direction. <laughs>